I just got back from spending two weeks away from the studio. My wife and I went out to Arizona to see my mother-in-law, sister-in-law, and my sister-in-law's husband. And we also went out to Southern California to celebrate my dad's 95th birthday. Now, what kind of birthday present do you give to someone who is 95 years old and basically has everything that he needs? Well, he made it easy for us. My dad told me and my siblings what he wanted. He wanted a drum kit. He had already purchased a keyboard for himself, and now he wanted drums as well. He bought the keyboard because my dad loved to play around on the piano. So he wanted a keyboard. He knew he couldn't have a big piano in the house. And when he played around on the piano when I was growing up, he only knew two songs. He could play Anchors Away and his own version of In the Mood. He also loved to play drums. And he had been playing drums since he was in high school back in the 1940s. And when I was growing up, uh, back in the late 60s, early 70s, he had a little drum kit at home. And when I first started playing piano, when I became skillful enough, he would have me play his favorite songs. And I was reading from the Reader's Digest songbook that he had bought. And he'd play along on the drums, and, and we played songs like Ain't She Sweet <laughs> and Tiptoe Through the Tulips and Sentimental Journey. Anyway, I'm not sure what happened to that original drum set. But after I got married in 1981 and moved out, well, he really didn't play much anymore. So when he got his new drums for his 95th birthday, he hadn't really played in over 20 years. So guess what we did at his birthday party? He had his keyboard. He had his drums again. And so me and my dad got to play music together again. Now his keyboard was a little Casio keyboard with unweighted keys and no sustain pedal, <laughs> but I did my best and I tried to remember some of the songs we used to play together some 45 years ago. But I'll tell you, there is nothing like playing music with another musician, especially your 95-year-old dad. So here's some video clips that my wife took while we were at the birthday party so you can see some of the tunes that we tried to play together. And I thought my dad did pretty well for being a 95-year-old drummer. Now, my dad can't see very well, so after we got his drum set up, he had to have some help to get over to the drum set. This is in my sister's backyard, by the way. You are really styling there. <laughs> oh, and it's even got a little bit of gray in it. I'm one of the boys now, man. Yeah. All right. Let's get it on, man. Let's get it on. There we go.
ready? Yeah. Estas son las mañanitas que cantaba el rey David y los muchachos bonitos si nos cantamos así. Despierta, mi bien despierta, mira que amaneció y los pajaritos cantan, la luna ya se metió. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Albert. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Now let's do it all in English. Ready? Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Well, we went on to play a few more songs, but, you know, my dad being 95 di didn't really have the stamina that he used to have. <laughs> anyway, here's a picture of us all together going from left to right. That's me, of course, next to my wife, Cheryl, my brother-in-law, Marco, my sister, Jensine. They're two, those two go together. And then my sister-in-law, Cindy, and her husband, my brother, Gus. Then we have Carrie, that's my late brother Bert's wife, his widow, and my brother-in-law Ray, and my sister Jessica. And what a wonderful gathering it was. My siblings and I are so grateful that our dad is still with us. And what a joy it was to play music with him again. It sure brought back a lot of fond memories. My dad has always been supportive of my crazy and unpredictable career in music. And now, whenever we speak on the phone, he always asks, How's your YouTube thing going? I told him he was going to be the star of this video. I look forward to celebrating his 96th next year, Lord willing. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and also leave a comment if you like. I'll be sure to respond. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I look forward to speaking to you in the next one.